don't worry about the Knicks, because it's your boy, Chris, with the Knicks. All right, so I wanted to get into the whole um, Kaya jumping into um, the Remy Ma and Nikki and Papoose whole situation and her reaction to it. I don't know, I'm a little late on this, but I just want to come to y'all and talk to you about that. So I saw her reaction. I finally got to see the video. You know, you know me. I have work and all of that. But um, my take on it, I just think Kaya is tired. She delayed. She always talking about free promotion. Yet, yeah, her shit, her still ain't pop. Her shit don't pop. Um, first of all, I just think it was very disrespectful of her to do that because. You know, in this generation, a lot of people are not faithful. A lot of people are not monogamous either. Especially in the black community, especially in the rap community. You got a lot of niggas that got a lot of bitches. And they would cheat on their wife. Like if she in jail, she in jail, you know. You know, you see it on Empire, you see it in real life. And for him to wait for Remy Ma to get out of jail and then marry her and then just be to be that actual that loyal, you know, that is very unheard of in this generation. So I think that what Kaya did was highly disrespectful, highly out of line. You know, me, I like monogamous, you know, I like old school love because that's the best kind. So. For her to even try to joke about that and try to sound all sexy in a video, she just sound very desperate, very, um, very tired, very delayed, like her career, one hit wonder. And then, so her response in the T.S. Madison video, because you know, you know T.S. Madison was just looking at her like, bitch, if you don't stop, like I'm just over this bitch. It's funny because the guy was just telling T.S. Madison, I don't think you should be doing videos with Kaya because she's not respectful to you. She's very ghetto. And then she got all, and she was very ghetto. She was acting like a, a hood rat. She was uh, being all loud, over talking people, cussing. You know, he, it was right. And then that other call where they um, tricked her, like, oh, Kaya, I love you. You know, I got all your music. And then she was like, psych, bitch, you fix your teeth. <laughs> that was the best. That was the best. I would have done that. That's some shit that I would have did. Again, you know, for her to even try to joke about that was not funny. And she is struggling. And she talking about she all over the tour, all over, touring all over the world. She got hits and plaques. I'm like, bitch, who, who who awarded you a plaque? The local corner store? <laughs> you know, the local Burger King uh, in Compton? Because that's the only people that play your music. You touring all over the hood, hood tours, ghetto, you know, hood tours, selling, you know, them, them bootleg DVDs, and, like the niggas selling them bootleg pornos and homemade, homemade pornos. Where they run a train on one girl, you know, because that's the area that you in. I'm not saying that's all bad, but I think Kaya does have a lot of stuff that that she says is true. I'm not even gonna lie, lie or take that away from her, but it's just the way that she go about it. And she talking about she don't do female beasts. Yeah, you did beef with Trina because you had a thing for uh, Lil Wayne for the longest. You had a thing for Lil Wayne until he started kissing on um, Birdman. Then that's when she stopped. And then you came at Trina, and you came at any female that um, that was linked to um, uh, Lil Wayne. So she, that was a lot that she told. And then, and then uh, she, uh, well, about Jackie O, she didn't lie. Um, Jackie O actually did confirm that. She was sleeping for breaker deals and all of that. But um, Kaya, I just feel like her mouth. Like, yeah, you can tell the truth, but you ain't got to, like, try to go in. And you, if you disrespected Janet and Michael, first of all, Janet put your ass on. 
She, she, Janet could have got any female rapper and she chose you. Second of all, why would Jereen Dupree leave Janet Jackson for you? That's another lie you done told. So, uh, that's like leaving a uh, bell. That's like leaving Bell for, uh, f uh, from Beauty and the Beast to go with the Grinch and Dr. Seuss, the Dr. Seuss character. Like, bitch, you sound real stupid. You know, she got real mad and real pissed because people was telling the truth on her. You know, and that's why T.S. Madison was giving her so many side eyes and, like, tired. Because she was trying to explain, like, some of these people ain't really coming at you. They're just trying to tell you, you know, like a real friend, you know, hey, you know, you should, like, tone this down. Or don't, or don't be going in on people. Like how she said Michael Jackson's face was, um decrepit and decayed and he was in his coffin decrepit and decayed like there was no reason for you to even be saying that you know we got so many facts so many stuff on you you know of calling Beyonce a hoe and talking about her hair it is you know just all this whack shit you know this is why she is tired what is she capable of doing yeah maybe you have some talent but it's it, your, your mouth your personality just like Azalea Banks, she can rap, she can flow, but it's just her mouth, you know, and calling people sand niggers and all that. That is the reason why people is not going to fuck with you. So for you to come at Remy Ma and come at for her marriage like that, just to put your um, ass in the spotlight. Because you want to be in the spotlight, you want to be there. You, you was not a celebrity, you was just popping for one moment. And the only reason why people come to check on you is this, is to clown you out because that's all you do is clown people out. But then you want to block people when they go in on you. And talk about your platform. I mean, yeah, you got one hit, you accomplished that. That's great. But again, again, you could be so much more had you not had you just played the rules. I'm not saying you got to sell your soul or anything, but it just because she goes in on people. And this Remy Ma um, Papoo situation for her to be talking about, like, that's kitchen table talk. You didn't have to record that and put that out there for the world to see because it makes you look desperate. It makes you look real tired, you know. I know a lot of women may want guys like Papoose, but, again, like, she actually said she wanted him and just, you know, being all desperate and nasty in that video. So, uh, I don't even think Remy Ma is going to respond back to that because Kyrie is, again, no, a uh, nobody. And she just tries to keep her name in the limelight by doing stuff like that. Then when people go in on her, then she want to get all loud and start slamming shit and, and clapping her hands and shit. So, you know, don't be on that Wendy Williams shit. You won't talk shit on your platform, but then when people want to go in on you, then you don't want to respond and you want to block and delete. You know, that's very two-sided. So that's my take on it. I just thought she was just tired and delayed. Like everybody says about her. Um, co Like, comment, questions. You know where to leave it. Anything you want me to talk about, leave it in the comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy, Chris the Next. Peace.